It's Angela Critters. I'm going to make a really easy, easy cream of potato soup today. I've got a lot of real hard potato soup recipes, but this is the easiest one I make. And it's cold everywhere, and I thought I would share it with you. I've got eight cups of water boiling. I added two bouillon cubes of chicken, which is optional. Sometimes I go ahead and just use broth, but this recipe does call for eight cups of water. You start the water boiling off in your Dutch oven. I've got six medium potatoes that I've peeled and kind of sliced into thin chunks. Six celery ribs that I've cut up. And I have three carrots chopped. And this is all going to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then here you'll see I've got one onion chopped. After this boils, I'm going to drain it reserve a cup of the liquid that I'm going to use later and I'm going to use the same pot to saute my onions until they run clear. So now that my water is at a rolling boil I'm starting my clock for about 12 to 15 minutes for the vegetables to actually cook. The vegetables are just about done. The kitchen smells like heaven. I just tested my celery and my carrot for doneness and they're ready. So I am going to drain these. I've got my colander over a, oops, a stainless steel pot. And i got to separate my vegetables. All right, so I've got my vegetables separated. My broth is underneath. I'm going to start off with a cup of broth when I get ready to start diluting my pep, my flour mixture. So first I'm going to heat up six tablespoons of butter. You'll see I've got it cubed. And I have identical six tablespoons of flour because you know usually with a roux, a white sauce, they do match. They're usually equal. Okay. So as soon as my butter is melted, I'm throwing in my onion. And I have a little bit too much onion. It's supposed to be one cup, but I had one really big onion, so I hope it's going to be okay. I don't want my butter ratio to get too diluted from sauteing the onion. So anyway, the onion's going to cook until it's clear, and then I'm going to stir in my flour. My onions are cooked now. They're running clear. So I'm going to start putting in my six tablespoons of flour and stirring as I go. Then I'm going to add my salt and pepper. I like how this one's made where you make your white sauce with the onions. It gives the soup a lot of flavor. Okay, so there we've got our six tablespoons of flour going in with our six tablespoons of butter. Get that kind of toasted. I've got my pepper, which is half of a teaspoon and a full teaspoon of salt. Let me turn this down. And I'm going to cook this for about two minutes. No, no, I'm not. I haven't added my milk yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. So my Fairlife milk had gone bad. They were out yesterday when we went to the store and I forgot that mine was old, so I'm using evaporated milk. I use one and a half cups. Evaporated milk works fine. Whole milk, regular milk, low-fat milk. You can use coconut, whatever you want to use. And now I'm going to slowly bring this to a boil, and I'm going to cook this for two minutes. Well, my roux is absolutely beautiful and perfect, so now I'm gently going to fold in my vegetables. Let me turn this down. Hopefully it'll lower my temperature by putting these vegetables in. And my soup's awfully thick, so here comes my broth that I reserve, my vegetable broth. Like I said, I start off with one cup. And I'm going to use however much I need. 
to get my soup to the desired cream of consistency that I'm actually looking for. And I'm going to let this sit and cook for a couple minutes. Start to finish, this soup only takes about 30 minutes, which is unbelievable for a soup that tastes this good. Now, of course, my vegetables were not included in that 30 minutes. That was 30 minutes of cooking time. But if you're a working person, you could cut up your vegetables the night before and put them in a Ziploc bag, your carrots, your potato, your onion, and your celery. Just keep the onions separate. But as you saw, my celery and my carrot and potato, they were all together in one colander where I had cut them. This is so good. You'll never want to eat a can of cream of potato soup again. Particularly as easy as this was. You saw how quick it went together. Mm. Now we love cayenne pepper. So at this point I would add cayenne pepper. But of course that's optional. Not everybody loves it. And I think it needs a little bit more of this wonderful broth. Look at that vegetable broth. You should never throw something like that away. I keep a great big container in my, my freezer that I pour leftover broth like that in to use for cooking. So this is ready. I'm going to make some cornbread real quick and uh, we'll be ready to have our dinner. I did end up using all of my reserved broth. It's That's exactly how much it took for my soup to taste just right. Well, my soup is ready. The directions will be in the description. Mm. You're going to love it. Like I said, I have harder recipes to follow of potato soup, but it doesn't get any better than this easy one. Enjoy. Bye-bye.